Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your mid-month January Tarot and Oracle card reading. This reading is for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to jump right into a general reading today. All right, what advice do you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What does Gemini need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Gemini? Okay, deta detailed Celtic cross style reading with a few different oracle cards. And if you don't mind hitting the like button, it does help so that people will see the reading in the algorithm. Okay, you know what? I, You know, this is too wild. We're gonna have to take both of these. Okay, we'll talk about those in a minute. Current situation, you have the Empress. The immediate influence is the Five of Cups. In your subconscious, you have the Queen of Pentacles. In the distant past, the Five of Wands, the Six of Swords is in the more recent past. The Magician is coming towards you. You're represented here by the Four of Wands. The person or situation you're attracting is represented by the Eight of Pentacles. You have the Knight of Pentacles, your hopes and fears, and the Seven of Wands and the outcome, but I don't mind that. It's perseverance. It's moving forward. The bottom of the deck here, we have the devil, the page of pentacles, and the knight of wands. So I feel like there's something about letting go to receive. So I took both of these because this one was, this last quarter moon in Capricorn was just kind of sitting there face up. And there was something about these two. There's something about them that's so complimentary. I just couldn't put it back. So leave the past behind. And then you have new quarter moon in Virgo. Trust all will be well. I feel like there's a message there, okay? If there's something about the past, I feel like it's time to move forward for you. So I guess we'll put that one there and then we'll just kind of let that one hang out there. So down here, okay, talking about leaving the past behind, the devil represents the ego, but it's also too, it also can be things in ourselves that we need to look at, how we've attracted certain people, places, things, patterns, especially if you know that you say, I know that there's certain things I should not have been involved with. Or even if you've overdone it in the last year, the devil can be drinking too much, too much materialism, buying too much. If you're in a position too, where you're starting to say, I'm gonna try to see how many days of the week I can just not spend money. How many days of the week I can do other things and not stop here or there. I feel like that's gonna help you more than you realize. Now, if it's relationships too, you have love here for sure. You've got a wedding here, by the way. But it, I feel like it is about leaving past patterns behind with that devil energy. So we have Capricorn, water, fire, air, earth, all the elements. Now, the page of pentacles is good news financially is on the way. A new opportunity and offer. And I feel like it's just like a brand new beginning. The best is yet to come for you is what they said. And so that's what they just said. And so with that page of pentacles, if it's a job, I feel like with the knight of wands, it's going to have you excited again about your career. It's going to have you excited again about how are you going to, you know, go, go through life in terms of making a living, making financial decisions. But I also feel like it brings in opportunities. I feel like you're being released from any fear. If you've got some financial fears, I feel like you're going to be able to leave those behind you. And that's what this is all about. And it's much easier, right? When you have new opportunities coming in, it makes it easier to leave fear behind. So with relationships too, that Knight of Wands is quite a charming energy, but it is somebody too, where you're going to feel adventurous. And with the Page of Pentacles, he's a messenger. That Page of Pentacles will hold you up in high, a high regard, high esteem here. So I feel like you have somebody who wants to get to know you on a deeper level, but they, the, there's still the excitement. There's still the excitement of moving forward here. So with this, I feel like they're saying, let's leave the Five of Cups behind. That Five of Cups too can be an indication. If there was something that happened, a chain of events that caused you to lose a job or in some way lose hope about your financial situation, I feel like they're saying, hey, guess what? There's more opportunities for you. And if you're planning a wedding, because you do have a wedding here, if there was something that disappointed you, even if it was somebody like that you put a deposit down on and you're going, they haven't given me the deposit back. I'm getting worried. I'm afraid I've gotten in bed with a charlatan here. 
I do feel like with that, you are going to, you're going to, with the seven of wands, get that money back. Those of you that have been needing to follow up more than it feels comfortable, right? Where you start to become a bit suspicious. It's like one email should have covered this. I do feel like with the five of wands, it's okay. Shake it off. Allow yourself to stand up tall and know that there's more for you. So I definitely like this a lot, especially the energy that's coming towards you and what represents you too. You've got freedom, happiness, and a new beginning showing up here. New doors are going to open for you, but it's being in this energy. That vibrant yellow energy is important. You got a yellow sweater, put it on. You've got a yellow t-shirt, don't care, whatever it is, there's a lot of yellow in these cards in the backgrounds. And you'll notice too, in a lot of the um, cards associated with money, yellow is in the background. And so it's an environment that's going to be rich for you. And if you are planning some kind of a trip or even like I said, a wedding, a destination wedding, it's gonna be awesome. But I feel like they're saying, be easy about things, be in the flow, keep good records, because again, we wanna be able to follow up in a concrete way if there is a money issue going on around you. But with this, it's all about moving forward. So the um, Empress energy too, again, I mentioned she's in flow, okay? You see that waterfall that begins the pool of consciousness in the cards. She's very creative too. And so I feel like you have an energy, you're bringing it into a job as well, very creative energy. And people like your this easygoing kind of energy with the Empress. She is also too the mother of the tarot. So again, fertility here, if you're asking about fertility, it can be in a metaphorical sense too though, giving birth to a great idea a great idea that flourishes. So if you own your own business, if you do something in the creative realm, I feel like it's like allow yourself to meditate, breathe. I see somebody where I can see their chest rising and falling. They look like they're laying flat. And that's okay, okay? You meditate how you do you on that. There's no, no you know, shaman or, or Buddhist expert or whatever is gonna criticize how you meditate. It just seems like, the most counterintuitive thing when people start critiquing other people's meditation practices. How strange. But anyway, I do see somebody doing that. And if that's you, do it. Because I feel like that from there is when you're going to get the great ideas where you're going to say, I don't even know where this stuff is coming from. And if you're writing, if you're writing a book, anything that you do in terms of communication or something that you need to present to as you meditate, You'll come out from there and you'll have those ideas. They may not come flooding in all at once. It could be driving to Target and you go, my God, I don't know how I thought of that. But that's the best idea I've had. And the reason why it happens there is because you're not trying. You're not concentrating on it. You're relaxed and you're open. The channel is open. I'll tell you what, that's when you're going to get lots of good ideas. And it'll be like you're tearing to get to your computer to get home or to work or wherever to sit down and start typing. So... With this energy in your subconscious, this is going to attract money. You have here three different, okay, do we want to just see these together? Three of the four court cards about financial stability and wealth. But what I like about this in your subconscious is your subconscious knows that you may be into quality over quantity here, guys. This is like she likes luxury. So does she, by the way. I actually put her in the wrong spot, but that was really convenient. Um, so anyway, purchases that you make too, I feel like your mind, you're going to be in that place where you'll be finding things that are, you know, better quality, you won't be investing in a bunch of like junky little trinkets, you might find that it really turns you off too. So if you are doing anything in terms of moving, or even if you are changing jobs, you're going to find the space that you work out of, you're going to really like it. And it's going to make you, again, that creativity when you're in a comfortable space, it helps you relax, you know, helps you to have those channels open. So with this, in terms of partnerships too, in some ways, the Queen of Pentacles lives a perfect life, okay? She's always got new opportunities around her in abundance, but she also is a the center of the family. She's got a wonderful connection with in relationships with her family members. So for as far as a subconscious energy, that's perfect. So this five of wands equals chaos in the background. Something in the past here feels a bit chaotic. And if you were interviewing for jobs and it felt like a merry-go-round, like I just need to find one or I need to do something at my current job to make this more palatable, 
I do feel like you're going out from that situation and things are going to get a lot better. And if there was somebody around you too, there were maybe even an overflow of people, too many people, which is unusual, but too many people in a department or too many people who could not get along. I do get that as well. And it was just creating a toxic workplace. I do feel like that's getting better. Now, the Six of Swords is a card of travel as well. So those of you that have travel plans, I feel like you may hunker down in the weeks prior to the travel and kind of get yourself, oh, it's almost like a nesting instinct where you want to get everything ready so that you can just kick back and enjoy. You can go forward and enjoy. So I feel in this energy and in this cycle, you won't leave any loose ends, anything. So if you're changing jobs or housing, you're going to find that you're more organized than ever as you make the transition. So it makes the future energy so much more easy, easier. Well, the magician brings heaven to earth. You see the way that he holds that wand? He commands it. It's powerful. It's not casual. Some of the other major arcana that wield that same wand, they do it in a way that's almost flippant, like a baton twirler. But he commands it. He says, this is mine. This is coming. So get your mind straight and allow your body to relax. Allow yourself to just release tension and know that you have an opportunity showing up here. Now, in terms of relationships, I haven't talked much about your partner, have we? You may be attracting an earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You've got a lot of earth in this reading. So I feel like in terms of relationships, you have a stable partner coming in for sure. But again, there's something about this person where I feel like they're going to be uh, they are truly a partner. They're like that rock. They're the person you can always depend on. They're somebody that when they say what they're say, they say what they mean and they mean what they say. They have great follow through. And so, if you feel like you're more on the the you know Gemini side where you like to relax a little bit and you like to have fun with life, it's a great partner for you because they do all the heavy lifting. They do a lot of stuff that you might not feel like dealing with. Um, but that's who they are. And I do feel like they know when to have fun and when to play, but that helps them to relax too when they know everything is, because whatever you're coming into, it just feels very, um, in a, some ways, disciplined or organized. Like things, the, the cycle you're coming into, it, it conveys a sense of peace and calm is what I'm getting. So with the Four of Wands representing you, it's time to celebrate. You've got a wonderful partner coming in here, by the way. So I mentioned somebody you're going to be very compatible with. And there may be some things, though, that are a bit of that opposites attract type of energy, but it works. And so it's not somebody who's trying to get you to be more like them. It's somebody who says, this is perfect because you do the things I don't like to do, you know, in terms of like household stuff or whatever planning, whatever it is. And I do the things you don't really care to do. So this works. But when you come together, I feel like your interests are quite, uh, ironically, quite a bit the same. So if you like to work out, here's your gym buddy. If you like to watch movies, here's the person that's okay with watching a rom-com or an action movie or whatever it is. It's somebody who wants to spend a lot of time with you. And I feel like you're going to really enjoy it because it feels like a partnership. So with this Eight of Pentacles, get ready to have money coming in. Now, if you did have chaos and work because there were too many people, I feel like they may downsize a little bit. And it, what it's going to do is actually bring in more money for you. But I feel like you won't miss the extra people. It's almost like people underfoot is what it felt like. And if it's you working on your own and you say, no, I needed to get away from that environment. It was just too many people that were lazy and talking and not really working. I feel like with this, you're going to be very focused, disciplined, and it is going to pay off. Whatever it is here, I mentioned you've got a nice balance of creativity, but it's also like you know when to drive. You know when to be in that place of grinding it out. So with the Knight of Pentacles here, it's good news. This is your financial guardian angel. If you are looking to get some kind of a loan approved, I see this is bringing it in, but it's very solid. It's a loan that you can afford. It's something that makes sense financially for you. And with the Seven of Wands, like I said, if there's a follow-up that's necessary, you're going to get the information. This brings in the follow-through to get the job done. So trust that all will be well. Leave the past behind and let's see what the Fortune Oracle has to say today about money for you. You've got the plane. A journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. 
your life will become more full. We love this, especially for travelers. That's always a good one. These actually have been shuffled, so there is an unnecessary extra shuffle in there. You've got like attracts like. If you long for more love, be more loving because we know that you are love. That's what you're from, the energy of love, and you are attracting one here. So good things are on the way for you, Gemini. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.